no one ever gets around to look at the posters because we don't have to. Oh, we don't have to. It doesn't matter. Hello? Uh, my name is William Harry. Uh, uh, louder into the Hello? closer. All right, that working? There you go. All right. There you go. Hi, I'm William Harry, I'm a student of the model of hierarchical complexity. Um, one of the things that I like about it is the fact that it's content free and doesn't have things, but there are a lot of questions that require discussion of the value of reinforcers. You know, uh, the psychologists talk a lot about personality, they talk about temper. They talk about domains of development. And where do these things come from? Uh, I think that they come from very basic processes being more complex through the process of evolution. I think that you, when you look at a single cell organism, they feed, they reproduce, they avoid harm, and that these processes grow in complexity uh, throughout evolution into larger categories of maintenance, expansion, and risk making. And uh, risk management. Uh, this is just a longer explanation. I've got sort of the very basic ones at the bottom, eating, reproduction, avoiding predators. Then middle ones where social animals try to interface with each other, mark territory, build a nest or a safe space. And then humans do things like garden, explain theories, buy insurance. Uh, so getting into similar work. Um, talking about temperament and Holland's interest theories. Uh, a guy named Robert Clovinger was a psychiatrist who came up with some notions about um, temperament that exists in humans and persists into adulthood. Uh, his factors he described are reward dependence, novelty seeking, and avoidance of harm. Um, I'm reinterpreting them as maintenance, expansion, and protection. In John Holland's work, he has uh, six factors of where people, why people pick careers. And what's interesting is that they tend to be diametrically opposed. It's very unlikely for someone to be um, both really interested in social interaction and really interested in construction work. Same with uh, doing business and doing research. Same with artistic and conventional. Um, my take is that you know, negative correlation is still a correlation and these forms of attention are actually um, just being distributed toward preference, but that they're the same basic temperamental drives being satisfied. Um, so, you know, these are nice thoughts, but what is the thing I'm actually presenting today? So, um, I made up a fictional neuroscientist who lives weights called um, Kahali Ramon. Um, and I built a lattice of the behaviors at each stage according to these reinforcement groups. Um, if you can't read this, that's fine. That's why I have a poster. I just wanted to touch on it briefly. Um, there's typos and such. The, the age category in particular is very sketchy. I just wanted people who are less familiar with the model to visualize like, roughly what the average human doing these things would look like. Um, and why I'm here, of course, is this is the Society for Research and Adult Development. And I don't actually really know a good way to research these questions. I have some basic ideas. People have suggested that if I build like, a different statistical model and try to see if I can make all the data fit, um, fit a three-factor model better, that might be something. And there's sort of like a Darwinian approach where you look at it. Um, he just took other people's research, read it really detailed, and explained how it related to his model. But if anyone has any thoughts on that, I'm interested in hearing it. Um, so, come on, Jeff. Thank you. It's on.